Hello, welcome to Ikate's Crossing. Okay, we're going to look at the week ahead reading. I know I might be a little bit late if you're down in the Southern Hemisphere. So we're going to do the reading from today, which is Monday here in, in the Southern Hemisphere. So let's have a look. We're going to use the Supernatural Tarot with Dark and Dangerous Oracle. So let's have a look and see... What's the message for the week ahead? Let's have a look. What's the message for the week ahead? Oh, okay. What jumped out here? Five of cups, five of chalices, five of goblets. It's all about that sense of um, don't worry about spilt milk. What are you focusing on emotionally? You know, what's tight? I feel like something's tying you up in knots at the moment. You might be feeling a little bit. Um, unsure and what in what's going on emotionally for you you might feel like you're oh two of um swords if you like or two of daggers two of athames um you've got that sense of two of daggers you've got that sense of being at a bit of a crossroads trying to find a sense of inner peace within yourself so yeah i do feel like you emotionally unsure on which you know emotionally unsure so mentally confused about the direction you're going in feels like you're at a real crossroads this week feels like there's a lot of decisions to be made a lot of thoughts going into it you know looking at your perception emotional you know is your heart sort of overriding your mind in this case does it feel like you're being um pulled in sort of emotional different directions um, here you've got the four of cups. So what do you sort of... I feel like you're quite not seeing the bigger picture with the four of um, goblets. You've, you're on or four of chalices. You've got that um, unsure in the direction. It feels like your head's down. You're not quite seeing the bigger picture about what's going on. You're a little bit sort of um, tied up if you like, with the emotion, trying to create a sense of emotional stability, trying to get yourself calm and relaxed, which is super important here. Here you've got two of goblets, so you're trying to find a connection. And I'm wondering if that's a connection actually within yourself, like you're two halves, like you feel like you're being split in half within yourself emotionally, more so than just the connection with someone else feels like this could be a sense of trying to find a balance in your emotions when you're looking at you know what are you focusing on emotionally you know there's some things in life you cannot control and yet you're you're drawn to that energy all the time and so you've got the sense of four of bones uh, five of bones so there's some real conflicts there's some real conflicts within your passion, your creativity, within the project. There's a lot of conflicts, conflicts within your own energy going on. It seems to be quite a challenging week overall. It feels very challenging and so there's a lot of stuff that you need to look at in the regards to the truth. You need to face the truth in a lot of things and that can be quite hard um, when you have that sort of um denial energy i feel like there's a very much of a denial energy going on there's a lot of stuff that needs to be looked at needs to be faced in regards to your emotions in regards to the choices decisions that you need to make there's a lot of stuff that you can and cannot um con you can and cannot um control so you need to look at what you can control look at that connection you have within yourself that sense of trying to find a sense of balance in your emotions trying to find a sense of balance in your mind being able to sort of face the adversity if you like in what you're doing so there's a lot of challenges and things going on here and so you've got the um five of pentacles and so or five of pentagrams so you've got that sense of um I want to say being led out of the cold you know looking for answers i feel like you're looking for physical answers to what's going on so i think there's a lot of searching going on 
with the five of pentagrams talks to me about searching for answers it feels like you're looking for something looking for the warmth looking for clarity looking for answers to what's going on here so you've got the three of bones so three of bones is that sense of taking a moment to just pause for a second take a moment to pause and reflect reflect on your past and contemplate your goals where do you want to go what action do you actually need to take to move forward to reach your goals i think there's a lot of thought needing to go on because it does feel like there's been some real challenges um, in your journey um, there's a lot of decisions to make a lot of choices to be made there's a lot of stuff that needs to be thought about here and so i think for you to be led out of the cold to get where you want to be to search you're searching for the answers i think a lot of it is just taking a moment to pause i feel like you just need to sort of slow down a little bit um just slow down take a stop for a minute and pause and um, reflect on your past acknowledging your past acknowledging the challenges and contemplate on where you want to go contemplate on your future ahead i think it's very important for you just to pause for a second and stop because you do have some choices with two of bones you do have some choices um, for you to move forward there are some choices to be made i think you just need to stop for a second pause and then make your decisions make your choices in the direction you want to go don't let your heart overrule your mind and sort of trying to find it's important that you find that sense of inner peace within yourself look at what you're focusing on here find that connection that you have within yourself is super important so let's have a look at the dark and dangerous cards what cards are we going to look at this week okay so let's have a look at that sense of oh okay with Cerebus, with Severus with that sense of guardianship guardians okay I do feel like you've got that sense of um, looking for guidance looking for guidance within yourself seeing yourself being pulled in different directions I think it's important that you get the guardianship you get that sense of protection again you get that sense of reciprocity so having things okay that's quite interesting with the sense of looking at what you get back what's your benefit of the direction that you move into emotionally on what you focus you know what's the if you're focusing on the negative as, aspects what's the benefit for it you know what do you get in return isn't it time to start looking at being led into something a bit more positive being able to deal with the losses or with the grief that you've been dealing with being able to sort of move forward comes from acknowledging that past super super important Oh, with Hecate comes with illumination getting that sense of understanding clarity being able to call on your guides your guardians your protectors um, to be able to find a sense of clarity illumination get that understanding that you need to be able to move forward um, it's important that you acknowledge your loss your grief anything that you're dealing with personally your past for you to be able to move forward on your journey to move into the warmth of where you want to be so there is a lot of um, making sure that you're guided you're protected you're getting that sense of um, you know what's your benefits so look at the benefits of the two of the paths that you're moving into what's the benefit if I go this way what's the benefit if I go that way and I think that's really important for you to look at um, looking at what you're going to get in return um, for the paths that you're going to move into and I think that's quite important to have that sense of balance that you receive as much as you're giving um, in the right 
um, with the right clarity that you need. And I'm not talking about getting the, the, you know, and what you can and cannot control because there are some things in life that you just cannot do anything about. So that's not going to be a benefit for you, is it? Or is it? You know, is it a benefit for you to not get what you want, to not get the, um, to keep on looking at what you cannot control, keep absorbing in that? Is that a benefit to you? And that's something that you need to face for yourself. You need to look at for yourself. So there's a lot of soul searching going on with this week as well. Interesting reading. Okay, so that's it from me. Don't forget to check the links down below. Check the links on my channel. Like subscribe and ring the bell so you know when the next video will be uploaded take care Peace.